delighted to have Eric uh, tell us about the physics of speed. So let's welcome Eric and his team. He's going to be talking about black holes, the mysterious astrophysical objects from which nothing escapes. Okay, I would like to introduce my team. Could you come on up, everybody? So this is Kong Gwen Lee, and Matt Rao, and Dan Lobster, and Michael Thomason. So they're going to be helping, uh, they're helping us all, all morning long. All right, so what are we talking about today? We're talking about speed, uh, things going fast or things going slow. We're going to try and cover, could you raise, the, could you raise that screen? Um, we're going to try and cover very, very wide range. We're going to have some things that go almost amazingly fast and un unimaginably fast, but also some things which are so slow they barely move at all. And we're going to put them all up on there. We're going to, fill up this whole chart with things that are going slow and things that are going fast. First of all, let's think about what it means to go fast. Um, to go fast, basically you need to go a long ways in a short time. And so there's a math way of doing that. What is my job in math? Math's not very hard. Call it the S for speed. And D for distance, and T for time. So, does everyone know what these things like? They got the line here, something on top of something. Oh my god, what does that mean? We do that. You'll be yelling at us. It's like, yeah, it's like a division, yeah. So basically, you can see that, like, if we go a really, really long time, then this is going to be a big number. And if we take a very, very short time, we put a little thing down here in the bottom, that also becomes a big number. And if it takes you a really long time, so the denominator is big, and you go a very short distance, then the speed is small. So we'll figure that out. That's one piece of math that's actually only one of two pieces of math you need for this. The second piece of math is scientific notation. Do people know what it means when I say 10 to the 2, like that? What does that mean? Go ahead, someone can just yell it out. Yeah, that means 10 times 10, or 1 with two zeros after. How about 10 to the 3? Yeah, like one with three zeros after it. Up here, this would be like one with seven zeros. This would be one with eight zeros. That's one zero zero. Zero 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 zero. A hundred billion. Or we can come all the way down there uh, to this. How about that? Does anyone know what that means? Yeah. Yeah, that means it's like point zero one. This is zero point zero zero one. It's like one over a thousand. Like one over ten thousand. Every time we go one of these things, we're going ten times faster or ten times slower, whichever way we go. And we're going to measure things in meters mostly because we're scientists and we like meters, and also in um, also in meters per second. But just in case you're wondering, if we travel one meter every second, like from here to here, here to here is about a meter. So if I go one, two, three, I'm going about a meter per second. And that works out to just about two miles per hour. A thousand meters per second is about two thousand miles per hour. Who knows? We may be getting all the way up to about oh god, about two hundred million miles per hour before the day is over. We'll see. All right, we gotta get going. We're gonna get, we get, need to get going pretty fast. All right. At this point, we're gonna measure some distances. We're gonna measure some times. We're gonna figure out some speeds. And for this, we need to have a very very fast kid. Would you find us some volunteers? Um, okay, wait, oh, I forgot to ask. If there's kids who think they might want to volunteer, and we're not going to be able to have everybody volunteer, you should have gotten a ticket. If you're a kid who wants to volunteer, is there any kid who wants to volunteer who didn't get a ticket? Do you have a ticket? If you don't, know, if you just like if you don't, you did not get a ticket? Okay. I'm going to go ahead and bring us up four volunteers if you would. 
No, no, no. You don't need to raise your hand. Just look at your ticket and look at the number. Does anyone have ticket? 983003. If you have that, come down. Okay, 98. Look at your ticket, everyone. 983003. Anybody? Yes. Okay. Very good. Did I see your ticket? That is a very good ticket. How about stay right here? Uh, in fact, will you show her where the world's fastest girl has to stay? <laughs> 983021. 983021 if you're here. And 983029. 983049. Come down if you get your number called. And 983045. Alright, how many have we got so far? Okay. Is that your ticket? Okay. Alright. Thank you very much. Um, you are going to be like wait, Would you come over here? You're going to stand right here, and you're going to look down at that blue thing. When the world's fastest girl runs past here, I want you to drop your hand. Like, you put your hand up. Down. So you can run your hand. Now, you also. What's your name? You also are going to be a flag lady. Would you put your hand right here? And let's step back a little bit. When the world's fastest girl comes by, I want you to drop it, okay? So, like, so pretend I'm the world's fastest girl. Raise your hand, and bam! Yes, do it really sharp. You are the timer. Can you show her how the timer works? Okay. You, what's your name? Maya, are you the world's fastest girl? You need to look at your, you, the timer, needs to look at one flag person and the other flag person. Flag people, are you ready? 